Hello everyone! This is a tutorial on how to use Schoology just for parents. So we have here on our table of content uh, first how to access Schoology, then courses and folders, submitting an assignment, how to use your calendar, and communicating with our teachers. Firstly, to access your Schoology, you will need a username and a password. Both of them were sent to you via email in the beginning of the year. Now, we are going to watch a video on how to log in on Schoology. Hi, and welcome to Schoology.com for your students in Dublin City Schools. Your student will bring home a code from either their language arts or mathematics teacher and you will be able to create your parent account. You're going to go into sign up and when you click sign up you'll be able to choose that you want to create a parent account. You click on parent and then you'll type in your access code that you received from your student's teacher. You're going to click continue and then you'll be able to fill in this information for your account. So I will type in the boxes. The nice thing is I get to pick my own username or email address. And so I can pick my own password. That way it's easy for me as a parent to remember the username and password or the email and password. I can uncheck the box because I don't want periodic Schoology updates and I can say register. When I do that, it's going to automatically connect me to my student's account and I will see what my student has available to her. So I can click on her information and I am now in I can see the different assignments that she'll have. All of her courses are in the course list and any groups that she's a member of. So you can very quickly add an account. The other thing that you'll be able to do, and you can see it from that menu, is you'll be able to add another child to your list. So you can click on add a child, you'll be able to put in their code and then you'll have multiple children in your one account. That is how you will sign up for Schoology. As a Once you're logged in, you can click on Courses to access and view all the courses your child has during this year. To access one, just click on it. Then this page will appear. Usually we have one folder for each quarter and here are some examples of activities you may see. Usually teachers have one folder for assignments and one folder for materials. On the right side of our page you will see some of the graded activities your son or daughter has to submit. To access it just click on it. Now how to submit your assignment. Firstly, you will click on the assignment, which we just did, and then you click on Submit Assignment in the Submissions part. Then we will follow the next steps. Just a reminder, this is a feature that only appears on Students Schoology page. It does not appear on Parents page, neither for teachers. Once you click on Submit, this page will appear. The first one is Upload, which means you can upload any pictures or files or documents to Schoology. The second one is Create, where you can type your answer directly here or paste the link to your project. On Resources, students can actually link it to Google Drive, so they can just select their document or slides presentation and submit. To finalize it, you just click on Submit. The next feature is the calendar. To access it, you just need to go on your home page and click here. This is a great tool for your child to keep track of his or her own work and assignments. 
we highly recommend everyone to look at it daily so they can plan their week ahead properly. To check one of the assignments, you just need to click on it. The next feature is how to communicate with teachers. On your home page, you will notice a little letter on the top bar. Click on it to access all the messages you have. If you want to send a new message to a teacher, just click on New Message. So that's all. Thank you very much. I hope it was helpful.